Hi! It's me again, Teacher Cleo. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, magbibigay ako sa inyo ng mga sample questions na posibleng lumabas sa let. Hope you learn! By the way, the timer is only 10 to 15 seconds. Kindly pause the video to have more time to answer. What is the GCF of 12 and 42? A12, B6, C2, D4. Correct answer is option B6. Okay, let's define first what is GCF to refresh your mind lalo na sa mga nakalimutan na ito. The GCF stands for the greatest common factor and defined as the largest number that is a factor of two or more numbers. There are three commonly used methods to find GCF. First one is the factor 3. The factors of 12 is 2 and 6, and since 6 is not a prime number, kailangan po natin a breakdown to its factors, which is 2 and 3. Same process than ito to find factors of 42. So, that's the complete solution using factor 3 method. Now, the second method to find GCF is the listing method. In short, ililista mo lahat ng factors of each given numbers and look the GCF that is shared by both of them. Next method is the long division or also called as repeated division. Honestly, Long division is much more faster way para mahanap ang GCF unlike factor 3 and listing method na medyo time consuming, especially during exam. So, here is the complete and brief explanation on how to find GCF using long division. But I want to share sa inyo ang isang technique I used in finding GCF lalo na sa exam. Isa-isahin mo lahat ng nasa choices and try to divide each of them to the given number, which is 12 and 42, at wala dapat remainder. In option A, since 12 is not divisible by 42, so i-eliminate na natin ito. In option D, only 12 is divisible by 4, so eliminated din ito. In option C, both 12 and 42 are even numbers, so it is divisible by 2. However, in option B, 6 can be divided also into 12 and 42 without any remainder. That's why both option B and C are considered as a factors of both 12 and 42, pero since GCF ang hinahanap, of course, 6 will be the correct GCF of 12 and 42. How about this one? Find GCF of 64 and 96. The correct answer is 32. It's up to you kung anong method or process you want to use to find the GCF. This is my solution. Try to practice also the technique na diniscuss ko sa inyo. What is the least common multiple of 15 and 25? The correct LCM is 75. There are three commonly used methods to find LCM. Prime factorization, listing method, and division method. Mas recommended kung gamitin nyo ang division method since time-consuming kapag ang gagamitin yung method ay prime factorization and listing method especially kung may kalakihan na ang mga numbers na hinahanapan ng LCM. Anyway, here's my solution. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Bring down 3 in the next row. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Bring down nyo lang ang prime number if di na ma-divide or may remainder. Just like in the second row, continue lang ang process until 1 is left in the last row. One of the technique to find LCM is to find first the smallest or the least number among the choices. 
If ayaw nyo ng division method, hanapin nyo sa choices ang pinakamaliit na number and try to analyze them if divisible ba sila sa isa't isa. Let's take this question as an example. First, tingnan mo kung alin dyan ang pinaka-smallest number and that is 50, right? Then, ask yourself if divisible ba si 50 kay 15. No, it's not. So, automatic eliminated si option A. Now, choose another smallest number and that is 75. Is 75 divisible to 15 and 25? Yes, it is. So, automatic si option B na ang sagot. Don't mind the other choices since LCM ang hinahanap dito. The correct answer is letter C, 72. In this question, the correct answer is 12. In dealing with this kind of question, Kailangan alam mong identify kung direct, inverse, or partitive proportion ba ito. Kindly pause the video to see the solution thoroughly. The correct answer is 9 days. You can write it in a fraction form para mas madaling masolve. Tandaan, understand the problem. Again, dapat alam mo kung direct or indirect proportion ba ito. In this case, we know that the more workers on a job would reduce the time to complete the task. And that's why indirect proportion ito. Anyway, that's my solution. Pause the video if you want to review this in a longer time. The correct answer is letter C, 12,000. The formula of simple interest is I is equal to P times R times T. There are also another way para mas madali nyong maalala ang formula. You can imagine it in a pyramid format. Here's my solution. Tandaan, alamin nyo muna kung ano ang itinatanong sa question para alam nyo rin kung anong formula ang gagamitin. For those examinee like BE Ed and BS Ed na hindi math major, kailangang masanay kayong mag-compute ng walang calculator. Don't you worry, pag alam mo lang kung paano i-apply o gamitin ang mga formula sa simple interest, mas madali mo nang makuha ang sagot. Again, in dealing with simple interest question, you need to know and understand the question and apply the formula correctly. If ever na lumabas man ang simple interest sa exam nyo, then you're lucky lalo na kapag alam mo itong isolve ng mano-mano. When we say accrued amount, ito ang kabuuan ng lahat ng babayaran o makukuha na amount. It means magkasama na dito ang interest at principal amount. There are two ways para masolve natin ito. First, by applying the interest formula, which is I is equal to P times R times T. Second, the formula of accrued amount, which is accrued amount is equal to principal amount. Yung 1 po, constant na yan, plus rate times time. Okay, that's my solution. Just pause the video to review this in a longer time. Interest at 7% after 6 months on 3,000 pesos. A, 100. B, 104. C, 109. 
D105. The correct answer is 105. Here's my solution. Para di humaba ang video ito at marami pa akong maibigay na questions, please pa-review na lang po ng binigay kong rationalization in number 7 in our previous slides. The correct answer is 55. Honestly, there are other methods to solve this. Pinapakita ko lang ang way or process I used to solve this and to avoid also taking too much time during exam. Tandaan, pagdating sa exam, use techniques or methods na mas mapapabilis kayo sa pag-solve at makuha agad ang tamang sagot. Okay, heto po ang solution ko. Sinimplify ko na yan. If you don't get it, comment below and I'll discuss that with you. Time's up! The correct answer is letter A, my first inspiration. Okay, let's rationalize this question. Meron na tayong clues dito. Rizal wrote a poem dedicated to his mother. Tanda nyo lang yung mga keywords. The most known poem written by Rizal in Ateneo, May Primera Inspiration or My First Inspiration, was dedicated to his mother on her birthday. It is believed to have been written in the year of 1874. Ang dami ng clue words sa question na ito, like for instance, a novel by Leo Tolstoy and Napoleonic Invasion of Russia. In option A, Les Miserables wrote by Victor Hugo and not Leo Tolstoy. In option C, Kublai Khan is a well-known Chinese emperor. While in option D, Cherry Orchard is the last play by Anton Chekhov. So the answer will be option B, War and Peace. It is composed of all individuals that belong to the same species and live in a given area at a particular time. Time's up! The correct answer is population. Just remember the clue words, same species and live in a given area at a particular time. The correct answer is personification o pagsasatao. Why? It is because in this question, mas binigyang diin ang pagbibigay buhay ng mga bagay na walang buhay katulad ng puno. Sa pamamagitan ng mga salitang nagsasad ng kilos tulad ng nagsasayawan. He was known for his memoria photographica. Macario Pineda is a Filipino short story writer, novelist, and columnist. Siya ang nagsulat ng nobelang Ang Ginto sa Makiling. Daniel Terona, a prominent member of the Katipunan's Magdalo chapter and who provoked Bonifacio during Tejeros Convention 1897. While Pedro Bucanig, he is the father of Ilocano literature. And Jose Maria Panganiban is known for his memoria photographica. Time's up. The correct answer is option B, Diosdado Makapagal. 
Tandaan nyo lang ito. Si Diyosdado Makapagal ang nag-issue ng Presidential Proclamation No. 28, which is declared June 12 as Special Public Holiday throughout the Philippines to commemorate Aguinaldo's original proclamation of Philippine independence from Spain. Hindi ko na lang muna i-explain lahat since ipapaliwanag ko rin yan sa susunod na drills. Sa ngayon, Choyang Bawaw muna ang i-discuss ko. So, kapag ito ang na-encounter niyong tanong sa exam, hanapin niyo agad ang mga clue words. Ano nga ba ang Choyang Bawaw? Ang Choyang Bawaw ay nagmula sa paggaya ng mga tunog na nililika ng mga hayop. In this question, Meron na tayong clue, which is, tunog na nililikha ng mga hayop. So, the answer will be, Choryang Bawaw. Let's rationalize first the question. We have the key words. Develop the binomial system for identifying and naming organisms. So the answer will be Carolos Linneus, since he is the father of taxonomy. Kapag sinasabing taxonomy, it is the branch of science concerned with classification, especially organisms, also known as binomial nomenclature. Governor General Naciso Clavireya was the one who ordered the blank. Okay, before ko sabihin ang tamang sagot, kilalanin muna natin sino ba si Governor General Naciso Clavireya. Siya ay isang Spanish Army officer who served as the Governor General of the Philippines from July to December 1849 and issued a decree requiring native Filipinos to all have surnames, also known as Clavireya Decree, which is systematically assigned Spanish surnames to Filipinos. So, the correct answer here is B, use of Spanish surnames by Filipinos. Sa letter A kasi, Union Obrera Democratica was founded by Isabelo de los Reyes and Hermenegildo Cruz. While in letter C, si Governor General Jose Vasco Vargas naman ang nag-establish ng tobacco monopoly. And in letter D, it is a Spanish policy of reduction. Which book inspired Rizal to write the No Limitangere? Time's up! The correct answer is Uncle Tom's Cabin. Rizal inspired by Uncle Tom's Cabin with a Latin title. Touch me not. Kung saan gusto niyang ipakita ang pangapen ng mga pare at ng gobyerno sa mga lokal na tao o Pilipino during Spanish colonization. And that's for now. Stay updated on our channel for more useful content. And please share this video para makatulong sa iba. Thank you!